Hi, this is Ben Shirk with Shirk Photography. And I'm going to go over how to use my powder brushes. I photographed this senior on green screen and I've already extracted her and uh, desaturated the background so that it's ready to go. This, uh, my extraction and other techniques are uh, available on some of my other tutorials. I was just going to skip over and get right to the meat and potatoes of how to use those powder brushes. I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to actually start stamping in the background. I'm going to create a new layer. To create a new layer in the background, all I have to do is hold uh, control down and click on the new layer brush and it pops in the background instead of the foreground. So I'm going to paint with those brushes again and I'm going to right click so I can see which one. And this one was actually created for just something like this movement. Can uh, uh, a girl kicking or throwing or arching helps this, uh, this little brush is really cool with it. So. I'm gonna stamp in the, the stamp, and then I'm gonna drag it down so this this curve matches up with that curve, her hand there. Let me just rotate a little bit. Ta-da! Look how cool that looks already. And now we need to continue layering in some different things. I want to kind of fill in, so if she was throwing this up, it wouldn't just be right there. There would be some other powder flowing around her. So I'm going to put one more layer in the background for now. So I'm going to right click again. And this powder 25 is a great background brush. It's very soft and flexible as far as when I stamp it in the background here. It certainly looks like a lot of powder flowing, and then I can just take that down so it looks like it's kind of a creative though when you throw powder it's everywhere it's not just in staying in one spot so this is going to help it make make it look a little bit more realistic now I'm going to stamp a couple layers over top of her so one really cool brush is brush number 23 this actually looks just like a skirt so like when I stamp it here and move it over to her. Look how awesome that looks. It's a skirt all around her, fall, fall, falling off of her. Looking beautiful. So I want to bring some texture up across here where some of that powder will have fallen kind of across the top of her body there. So I'm actually just going to Control J, which is duplicate that layer. And now I'm going to move it up just above her so it's barely falling on her somewhere in there then I'm just going to erase some of that off. What I want is just a, just a fine mist kind of falling across her top there. So I'm going to erase some of that off there using another um, powder brush a little bit smaller. So I'm going to erase that off her using about I'm going to hit 4 for 40 and it's going to pop into 40 Just erase it, just nice little Bob Ross strokes there. Awesome, that is looking absolutely stunning. Let's add a couple. When she's throwing this powder, it's going to be going across her hand too. So let's add a little bit to her hand. I could probably use this one. I'm going to put those in there and then can again direct them to the way it would be coming out of there, out of her hand, but um, erasing them off behind it here at 100%. So falling off her hand there, kind of covering up a little bit of her hand. This hand also needs something going on. So another, another layer and let's just tab through these using our greater than less than symbols. We're going back and see what we can find that would fit what we need. That one's a pretty good one. So, that's not bad. Let's just remember brush number 21. Actually, I see one next to it. This one will be perfect for what I'm thinking of. I'm stamp there. Rotate it a little bit. Maybe bring that passy down. So that's covering up her hand a little bit as if it's coming out of there. 
old. So I think that looks pretty stunning. Uh, we've layered some in the background, the foreground, to kind of wrap around the dancer. And she looks like she is actually throwing powder all around without making a huge mess in your studio. The soccer player took a little bit more. Just we were experimenting with lots of different brushes. Some of them fit will come together right away for you. Some of them will take a little bit of time. Just have fun, play around with it, and see what you come up with.